Hello, hello, my lovely, lovely audience. Anyway, welcome to a what if. I don't know what to call this. Let's get into it. Uh, yeah, let's just get into it. In case you're wondering, I'm gonna post a bit of extra content here and there, but anyway, let's get into it. Tech is born, everything's normal, blah blah blah. Except the plant. In the corner, it's like a little tree thing, falls over, and uses its branches and leaves to stand up, and has taken the posture of a spider. What the fuck? As it jumps at Deku, like, this tiny flesh thing, it gives me life. As, you know, the plant picks up Deku, straps him in, like, using his roots as seat belts, and just goes running out of there. Jumps out a window. And, uh, yeah. Now there's just a plant running away with a baby into the forest, where Deku proceeds to make every plant there come alive. And, uh, yeah. Now, the plant takes him to a greenhouse, which the tree's pointed at, because the trees are alive too, and now Deku spends the rest of his life there. He would sell, you know, cut flowers and fruits and vegetables, and realize something strange about him. He can speak to the plants, not like speak to them and them hear him and not really speak back. He has full-on conversations with stuff like rose vines and apple trees. Everything's chill with him and the plants. And he's actually... He experiments. He takes some excess seeds that he buys or harvests and just changes them a bit. Makes a few interesting creations, you could say. BTW, aka by the way, Code is a female in this. Yeah, you know, the rock face lady. Rock face man. Rock face. That, that can speak to animals. I'm pretty sure their name is Coda. My brain is very, very stupid. It's very stupid, so. <laughs> that plus it's 12, so. Can't exactly remember. And anyway, so, uh, yeah. Or maybe it's like 11. Yeah, it's 11. But, yeah. So one of these days, you know, Koda and Momo and Uraraka are all in the shop going flower shopping. You know, because they want to have this nice little... Oh, they want to make flower crowns for each other. This idea was made by Momo. And instead of... And they just... Wanted to burn a bit of cash. You know, gossip a bit. The guys think they're gonna make flower crowns. They're just gossiping. They are there to gossip. And they see Deku. With a bunch of pumpkins and stuff like that. Damn, boy. Wow, look at that guy. Cute. Great. People are looking at me. He's holding a potted plant. Do you know what I should do? Ah, good idea. As he chucks him at a few apples at them, eat that and stop staring at me. It's creepy. Freshly harvested apples. Give me a second. And anyway, yeah. They don't stop staring at Deku. Damn it, Dave. Why didn't... <sighs> I am so annoyed. <sighs> I just want to sell my produce, buy a few seeds, and get a nice juicy steak, since I am not a cannibal. I eat meat. Give me a second. I said give me a second not do this. In any way, sorry about that. Uh, let's continue. Uh... 
Deku's annoyed at the fact that he's being stared at by a bunch of girls. Okay. Oh, hey, look at that. They got their carrot seeds in. Score! <laughs> As he is just in the seed aisle, out of view, just looking for some seeds. Ooh, cabbages. I can make a lot of different things with cabbages. You wouldn't think it, but I can make, like, Jumanji-style things with these. Useful. As he leaves, still annoyed at the fact that he's being stared at, so he decides, eh, what the heck, and has a tree pick him up and just fling him. Ah, this is fast anyway, as he gets caught by a bunch of other trees. He stretches as he proceeds to begin experimentation. Back over to the girls, they were like, Is it me or did he look good? Yeah, you wouldn't think the whole torn boxer pants thing would look good on someone, but it does. It really does. Yeah, it actually looks really good. Not to mention those rose vines. Oh, so fanish. Fashionable. You wouldn't think that, but it is. Do you think those were actual rose vines? Probably. But I'm just going to say one thing. It was a bit weird that he was talking to a plant. Was a bit weird. Eh, yeah, but every man has their quarks, am I right? <laughs> As, you know, Todoroki just sneezes like, ah, I think someone just said my father had a quark. Like, not the superpower kind, the good kind. <laughs> That's impossible. Cut over to Deku. There's this whole bunch of different plant things in cages. One of which is very interesting looking. It's like a tentacle monster uh, made from vines and each tentacle could split apart into four thorns and one in the middle. One, a fifth thorn in the middle. <sighs> no one's come to raid us yet. As Deku proceeds to put on his pumpkin mask and fire, let's get to cooking. Cut back to UA. They are go. They are gonna have to go into the whole thing, to the whole you know area, the whole haunted forest. As Deku gets a heads up by this from the trees, we're being attacked, huh? All right, give me a second. As Deku walks out of the forest and just looks at them, What are you doing here? Why are you here? And did any of you follow me? No, we're just here to check out the forest. Oh, hey, you're that guy we met in the shop. Not met. Stalked. And not the plant kind. You stared at me the entire time I was there. Yeah, you're that guy who spoke to a plant yeah so what it helps them grow but anyway leave this is my home so go i don't need any of you whatever you're selling we're just here to do a pr parole see if there are any villains hiding out in here if they were if there were they would be dead by now what Let's just say this forest is more hostile than it looks. Says the creepy Kai holding a pumpkin mask. Would you prefer if I put it on? It has a neat little trick. You know what, I want to see it. I could put on the flaming pumpkin. Well, it wasn't flaming, but now it's flaming. Holy, what the heck? I told you it has a neat little trick. Leave. Can you take it off? No. You wanted this. I'm gonna be more intimidating now. Leave. No. We are here to just per patrol and that's it. Okay? We've heard some of some disappearances going on in here and we would like to get to the bottom of it. 
Fine. You'll find only death, but fine. Judging by your costumes and the fact that I haven't seen you around here, I'm guessing you're heroes in training. Yeah, how did you know? I literally just said, oh yeah. Can you just shut it already? I want to get to some villain kicking ass, and you are currently stopping us from doing that. Okay, Mr. Palmeranian, go in. The exact moment De Bakko steps into the forest on a patch of grass, the grass wraps around his foot and begins to consume in him, dissolving right through him as multiple vines grab the students, killing some. Some unnamed students were grabbed by the neck and hung. Shed my leg! I warned you, people. Why do they never listen? As more rose vines are growing off Deku. Might need to trim myself once this is over. I mean, it's very nice. Ain't sure. Like, and it is more comfortable when I have them longer, but... Still, they get in the way sometimes. Yeah, definitely gonna have to cut them. A bit. As multiple people are being grabbed into the forest by vines, Bakko still being dissolved, Koda just barely able to get some insects to eat through some of the plants, but realizes something. The plants are regenerating faster than the insects can eat them. The plants are the same color as this kid's hair, and they're regenerating and growing and moving. Is he the reason it's happening? In case you're wondering, yes, me being near plants makes them come alive. I don't control them, they just do whatever, whatever the hell they want. As Deku puts on the pumpkin head and proceeds to burn another unnamed student to a crisp. And scoops up the ashes like, this could make amazing fertilizer. Bye bye And I'm ending this off here. Goodbye, my lovely, lovely audience. And bye bye Two more seconds.